Hey Capricorn, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. How are you all doing? I hope you had an amazing weekend. I did. Got some much needed rest. Took some time off and just focused on me and the people that I love. <laughs> all right, Capricorn. This is for anyone with Capricorn placements in their chart. They deem significant, all right? This could be past, present, future energy. Could also be someone else in your energy field. Only take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. If it's not your story, y'all know the skill. Don't try to force it to fit. All right, Capricorn. I'm going to get some messages from Spirit. We're going to start with an Archangel message, and then um, I'm going to get six things that's most important for you to know right now. Some of you need to save money. That's your own energy. <laughs> that was at the bottom of the deck. We have focused on your priorities. This is your energy, too. It's like two of pentacles energy. What's important to you? What do you need to let go of? What do you need to hold on to? It says where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. Some of you can have a maternal figure that's giving you some really, really good advice right now. Some of you can also have Gemini placements in your chart. You're trying to manifest something. Focus on what you want and not what you don't want. So that is your Archangel message of the day. It will mean different things to different people. Let's get six cards for you. I am trying to keep these readings short today. Six things that Capricorn needs to know, Spirit. Please show me what I need to see for the sign of Capricorn. Page of Cups. Hmm. Ace of Swords. Eight of Swords. Okay. Then we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Pentacles in reverse, and the High Priest. This bottom of the deck, we have Eight of Cups. Some of you may have walked away from a connection here. Could be with the Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Or you walked away from something. If it wasn't love, it was something. Something that no longer interests you. You did some soul searching and you realized it was no longer for you. Could have been something you felt trapped in. A situation you felt trapped in but i do feel like new love is coming in for you so expect some communication some kind of romantic communication here some of you could also be doing shadow work and the child healing right now because the page of cups can represent good news and romance but it also can represent doing inner child healing like tapping into you know where you may need to do some work on yourself some of you could be attracting a pisces maybe you separate separated from a pisces they may be trying to come back your way we have Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy here with the Ace of Swords. This is all about a bright idea. It's about clarity. So some of you felt trapped in your head about something and you got some clarity here. I feel like with the High Priest, this Spirit is telling you to listen to your intuition here. It's about your priorities. Some of you, your priorities are not straight, which is why you got that card about your priorities. This card is all about prioritizing. This is about not having balance in your life here. So something in your life needs to be balanced. And it could be in your finances, even in a relationship, a family dynamic, even if 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 it's your family, your actual family, your blood relatives. It doesn't have to be love, but it could be. Some of you may have walked away from someone, divorced someone, broke up with someone that you have a family with. But Spirit is saying that, you know, you have all the answers inside. Just turn into your intuition, tap into your intu intuition. Let me just clarify what is the high priestess here for yeah that's something that you know needs to end something that you've known for a while has needed to end february 16th could be significant for you to I mean, for you to <laughs> for your connection or whatever it is you're going through maybe january the 8th um would that have been your birthday season yeah some of you could have been born on january the 8th um it's something about your money. Something about you focusing on your money. Some of you may have walked away from a relationship here. Yeah, a queen of swords. We have two queens here. You could have walked away from someone who put you in a third party situation. Could have had money involved in a situation where they, they were given to someone else. Not focusing on the priority of their family. Maybe prioritizing something or someone else. Juggling you. Because that's about juggling. Not having focus. Not having a clear, disciplined um, set of priorities. I feel like your intuition told you that it was time for you to end something here, okay? Um, 
But spirit is saying be logical. Be logical. Don't be emotional. Some of you can have air placements significant in your chart. I definitely feel like whatever you've been through, you have the answers inside to deal with it. Okay. Something you definitely have to let go of. And you know what that is. Only you know what that is. So Capricorn knows that your message is focused on your priorities. Let go of what you need to let go of. Walk away from whatever you felt trapped in. You're not trapped. You can set yourself free. Those are the messages from Spirit. I will see you all probably on Wednesday. Possibly tomorrow. I don't know. But um, thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment if this meant anything to you. And I will see you all when I see you all. Peace.